I'm Shell and I look really pale. Hey, I'm Shell and I look worse. Hey, I'm Shell and I look like a vampire, but that's pretty normal. Hi, I'm Shell and I'm a cosplayer. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are a current subscriber, welcome back. I literally made this whole cute setup just yesterday so I could show off like the fan art people have given me. Um, and I just realized I'm gonna be standing in front of it for this entire video, so I apologize, but I love it. Thank you. <laughs> I very recently got into the Danganronpa series, and I am planning to cosplay a few of the characters. So I was browsing around online, looking at cosplays, and I realized something. There are a lot of Junko cosplays. Like, a lot. And you know, that's not surprising. She's like, obviously the most popular character in the fandom, so I get it. But then I found something unusual amongst this sea of Junko cosplays. I found a Junko cosplay with a two-star rating. <laughs> and I'm a person who lives for Amazon reviews. I never buy anything without reading them. So when I saw only two stars on this product, I got really curious, like, how bad could it actually be? So I bought it. As you can see, I have not yet opened it, so you are going to be getting my genuine reaction. And obviously, this is not sponsored. This is just for fun. I've reviewed a cosplay for my channel before. That is my She-Ra video. It's my most popular one. So if you're looking for a She-Ra cosplay, go check it out. So I'm gonna be using the same method to review this as I did in that video. And the first step is to open the package. <laughs> so without further ado, let's crack this baby open and see what we got. Well, it's the right costume at least. That's a good sign. First things first, um, so when I bought this on Amazon, it didn't actually let me select a size. Like, it was just one size. So I'm interested to see that right away. That's a medium right there. <laughs> so I guess I get a medium, woo! We've got the skirt and we've got the top. Oh, and they've got the bow with a little safety pin on the back and Oh, a full, an actual full necktie. Okay, that's, this is already more than I was expecting. Wow. I'm gonna have you hang on to that, Honey Lemon. She's named Honey Lemon, don't judge me. Oh, wow, and this is the shirt and the jacket and the skirt. For some reason, because it was such a low rated cosplay, I just figured like the whole top would be one piece and like the jacket and shirt would be combined. So honestly, I'm actually kind of impressed to start with. Well, let's try it on. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We've got like a, like a cotton flannel kind of skirt. It's a medium. I don't see a tag anywhere with fiber contents, so I can't tell you what fabric it is, but it feels like a, like a cheap flannel. It's just elastic, so let's see if it fits on my waist. I will put my measurements in the corner up here and also leave them in the description box below so you can like see how you would compare to me if you were trying this on. <laughs> I know you can't see it, but uh, it fits. <laughs> okay, so that's a plus one for the skirt. I wish it had pockets, but I guess you get what you get, you know? <laughs> this shirt has no sleeves! It's just, oh my god. And it has a really, really high collar. I guess that's accurate, but holy crap. Wait, what even is this? What even is this? Oh no. It, it already, oh, it's quite small. So I look like a fun little chef. How is this collar supposed to stay up? Like that, does that work? Um, yeah, there's, there's no, no chance in hell this is gonna button. The jacket's definitely polyester, like, look at that shine. <laughs> look at that shine. <laughs> it's got her little, like, simple embroidered, actually. It's not just like an iron-on or anything. So that's, you know, kind of good, actually. Oh, they even have it on the sleeve and the back, too. Oh my god. I can tell you right now, this is not going to fit on my shoulder. Oh, come on, come on, come on. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Oh, that is a tight, tight fit on the shoulder. Can I get it on both shoulders is the question. No, no, I can't. Almost there, almost there, almost there. 
I got it on my arms. <laughs> Don't judge me, I barely know how to tie ties. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how to tie ties. The bow is pretty good quality again. It's like a bad polyester fabric, but all of the edges are sewn very neatly and they have a little safety pin on the back so you can pin it to yourself. Look at that. Like that's not bad, right? Isn't she cute? I love her. So the fit is a big issue. I'm taking it off because I'm really hot. Oh god, can I even get it off? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I'm stuck. <laughs> this is how I die. I'm gonna die in an anime cosplay. Shell, 21, Boston, Massachusetts, died of suffocation from a two-star Amazon cosplay. So I can barely fit into this or squeeze out of it. So that's an issue. If I had been able to pick my own size, I actually think this is a pretty decent cosplay. Definitely not a two-star cosplay. It's not bad quality. The stitches are all done correctly. The embroidery is actually pretty nice. And it includes all of the accessories you need. And overall, it's very accurate to the character. So if it weren't for the size, this is actually a pretty good cosplay and certainly not like a two-star cosplay. I'd give it, you know, probably four. So hopefully here you can get a better idea of the final look. Still can't button the front, still can't tie a tie, but I tried! How does, how does Junko pose? It's, it's a, is it the... I don't know. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching and having a little fun with me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment down below. You can also always subscribe! Again, thank you so much for watching. Bye! <laughs>